Assalamu alaikum wa wa sahlam bikum. My name is Mim Tiaz. Welcome back to another lesson. So in the previous lesson, we looked at pronouns and personal pronouns, explain what they were and why they were used. In this lesson, we're going to continue on and look at possessive pronouns. So just a quick recap. Uh, what is a pronoun? Uh, as I mentioned, a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence, making the subject a person or a thing. And it is used by itself and refers to the participants in a discourse, so I, you, uh, but also to someone else, so he, she, they. Uh, it is used, uh, the main reason it's used is, is to prevent the repetitive use of words. So if we look at this example, here's a pen is a common writing instrument. Uh, we're saying the pen is used to apply ink to a surface, usually on paper, and the pen is used for writing or drawing. So here you can see that the pen is being used more than once. And so this is where the pronoun comes in. We can then uh, substitute the pen with the, the uh, pronoun. So here we can say it is used to apply ink to a surface, usually on paper. Uh, it is used for writing or drawing. Okay. Personal pronouns um, are short words used as a substitute for proper names of a person. Okay, and normally used for people. Um, English has six personal pronouns, which are, are of three types. So the first is the first person, which refers to the speaker. And then we've got the second person, which is the person that you're speaking to. And then the third person is the person you're speaking of. And all these three are what we call subject pronouns. So for the first person, the subject pronouns are I and we. Uh, for the second person is you. And for the third person, it is he, she, or they. So, um, okay. so when we talk about possession, we are talking about the ownership of um, all the things that belong to people. So when we want to use a pronoun to show possession, we can't use the subject pronouns. Uh, for example, look at this. So if we say, this is my sister, uh, and then I try and use the subject pronoun, I'll say she name is a beer. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So the she uh, is the incorrect use of a pronoun because the what we're talking about is the name and the name is the property of a beer. So here, so we, because it's, it belongs to a beer, the, the, we can't use the, uh, the subject pronoun here. So here what we have to do is we have to change that um, she to a possessive pronoun. So then we say her name is a beer. So here then it makes sense that so this is my sister, her name is a beer. So we're saying that the, the, her possession or the um, ownership uh, is the name that belongs to a beer. Her name is a beer. Okay. So what is a possessive pronoun? Um, it's exactly that. It's words that help us show possession or that something belongs to someone. Uh, and that subject is always a, a person. The possessive pronouns are never spelled with apostrophes. And there are two types of possessive pronouns for each uh, personal subject. Uh, and this is in, in English. So if we look at the first person, we've got I is the subject. And the possessive adjective is my, and the pronoun is mine. The second one is we, and the possessive adjective is our, and possessive pronoun is ours. And then we have the second, which is you. And the adjective is your. And the pronoun is yours. And I'll explain what the difference between the two of these are. I just need to cover these just to show you. Um, and then we've got the third person. When we talk about he, the adjective is his. And the pronoun is also the same, his. Then we have she, which is adjective is her and the pronoun is hers uh, and then we have they and this there and theirs okay so I guess the question uh, uh, you'll be using is where do we use each one of these why is there a difference and which one are we going to use in Arabic um, the possessive adjective is also referred to as the weak adjective and the possessive pronoun is referred to as the strong or absolute so what I'm going to do now is just show you the difference between the two so that you get an understanding about what they basically mean and where would we, where would we use this. I'll show you examples for both of these. 
Okay. So the strong uh, absolute versus a weak. The possessive pronoun, as we mentioned, is mine, ours, yours, his, hers, and theirs. Okay. Uh, basically, these are word words uh, used to indicate possession or ownership. And the one thing about the possessive pronouns is that they are words that refer back to the noun already used in the sentence. And it's used to avoid repetition. So here, if we look at this example, it says this car is ours. We are referring back to the car. Okay. So, and then we've got the possessive adjectives, which is my, our, your, his, her, and their. And here, which it's used to determine something, to determine that something belongs to somebody, okay? And it always appears in front of the noun, okay? So here, if we say this is our car, uh, the 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 word the noun is coming after. So we are saying we are saying this is my something or our house, our car, your name, his house you know so here this this is what we would actually use within the arabic language um, so the well, let's look at some examples so if we say for the possessive adjective i'll show you the differences here is my pen doesn't work can i borrow yours okay so you see the difference so we are referring if this was one sentence we are talking uh, about the pen next one is my plane is delayed have they got any spaces on yours? His paintings were beautiful, but I liked hers better. So here, this is my house. The house on the corner is theirs. Okay. And this is my book. It's mine. Okay, so let's look at the possessive pronoun. They call it the Mile or Malakia. Um, and in Possessive pronouns in Arabic are the equivalent of the English my, his, her, etc. And they indicate affiliation and belonging. Okay? Unlike English, where the possessive pronoun is used independently, in Arabic they are joined to the end of the word and hence known as attached pronouns. So if we look at this English, here we've got my, and you can see the word stands on its own. Name is in Tiaz. Okay? My name. Uh, and the my is detached. If we look at the Arabic, um, the the name in Arabic is ism. Um, so what we have to do is when we, before we can add a suffix to the end of the noun, we have to change the final form of the word and then to change to a medial um, and then add the suffix. So here we're going to say ism and then we add the uh, suffix. Now the ya is the suffix that is used for my. So here it will become ismi. So ismi is my name. Okay. Um, so here, if we look at this example, say Anna ismi imtiaz. I'm saying my name is imtiaz. This is correct. But because we've already said ismi is my name, there really is no need to put Anna there. If you do use it, it doesn't matter. But uh, if I said ismi imtiaz, it means exactly the same. Okay, so and a lot of people would say that. So if someone, someone said to you, what is your name? My smoke. I will say ismi imtiaz. I will not say ana ismi imtiaz. Okay, so the, because there's no need to repeat. You're basically repeating the ana or I twice. So my name is imtiaz. So I say ana, my name is imtiaz. So uh, yeah, just say ismi imtiaz. Okay, so that is the difference between the English and Arabic. So as we said, like English, there's three, three first sec speaker, second speaker, and third, uh, sorry, first person, second person, and third person. So what we'll do now is go through each one of these examples uh, and look at what the, the suffixes are for each type. Okay, so, uh, and that'll be for more than mudakkar, more than one, the so masculine, feminine, and singular, dual, and plural, if that applies. Okay, so let's look at Mufad al madhakar which is a masculine male. So the when we refer to the singular person, uh, it is I or Anna, and the suffix we would apply, as I mentioned earlier on, is the letter it is Ya. Yeah. Okay. So Anna and Ya. So if we look at this example, Bait, when we add the suffix at the end, becomes Baiti. Baiti. Okay. 
Now, when we talk about the singular person in the first person, it's, it's, it's the same, whether, it's, it's, whether you're male or, or a female. So when we talk about the Mufid Mu'annath, will be Ana again. And the suffix is the same, Ya and Beiti. Okay, so Ana is the same whether you're male or female. Okay, when we talk about more than two, two or more people, we we'll talk about we, which is Nahnu, Nahnu. Um, and the suffix we apply there is na noon alif yeah so bait would become baituna baituna okay the one thing to notice is that we'll put a dhamma between on the, the letter the last letter that we are adding here so ta would have a dhamma and then the noon alif baituna again uh, when we talk about a group of individuals whether we are masculine feminine or, or, or mixed we will still be we so in here we will still be the same nahnu na and then baituna that's also the same for jama um nahnu na and then baituna okay so that is your so so for individuals is ya so it becomes baiti my house my pen color me kitabi etc and then if we talk about our our house it will be baituna our car will be sayyaratuna so the noon alif at the end Okay, so that's your for suffixes for the first person and second person. Uh, sorry, first person, sorry. Uh, the second person, uh, they have got three different, uh, for Mufid and Muthanna, uh, sorry, Mufid and Muthanna and Jama'a, they are different. So let's go through and look at this. Uh, so Mufid and Muthakkar, for the second person is you, which is anta. So when it's masculine, it's anta. The suffix would apply is kaf with the fatha. And then the bait would become baituka, baituka. Okay, so more than mudakkar uh, is anta, kaf, and baituka. For more than muannith, it would be anti, which is a uh, kasra at the, at the bottom. So then the suffix is exactly the same. So here, instead of a fatah, we've got a kasra, so it becomes a key. So the house would be baituki. Yeah, baituka, baituki. So Muthanna mu Mudakkar, the uh, pronoun is Antuma. The suffix would apply is Kuma. So that becomes Beitu Kuma. Beitu Kuma. So as we did in the previous lesson, we showed that the the dual uh, pronouns for uh, masculine and feminine are exactly the same. So here it would be the same. So it would be Antuma, Kuma, Beitu Kuma. Then we have Jama, Jama. So Jama is Antum, which is you plural. Uh, that's a male or mixed. And then the suffix would apply is Kum. So that would become Beitukum, Beitukum. Okay. And then for so that's male or mixed. And then for females only, Jama Muannith, uh, it's Antunna, Antunna. It has to be females only. Okay, so the suffix is kunna. So that would become beitu kunna. Okay, so beituka, beituki, beitukuma, beitukum, and beitu kunna. Okay, so that's your second person. And uh, let's look at the third person. Uh, so more than mother, when we talk about uh, the pronoun, it is hua, which is he. The suffix would apply is hu. So that would become Beituhu, Beituhu. Mufid al Mu'annath, it's here, which is she. The suffix would apply is ha, and the that would become Beituha, Beituha. Mufid al Mudakkar and Mufid al Mu'annath is exactly the same again. So here the pronoun is Huma. The suffix is the same, Huma. So that would then become Beituhuma, Beituhuma. Okay. Um, and the same again for the Muthanna uh, Mu'annath. For Jama Mudakkar, uh, the, the pronoun is Hum. That's, so that's male or mixed. When we talk about the third person, so it is they. Uh, the suffix is the same, which is Hum. So that would become Beituhum, Beituhum. Um, so then for Jama Mu'annath, which is fem females only, uh, three or more, which would be Hunna. 
the suffix is hunna and then so that becomes baytuhunna baytuhunna so baytuhu baytuhu baytuha baytuhuma baytuhum baytuhunna okay so that's your first person second person and third person possessive pronouns okay so the suffix is that we will apply let's go through and do a few examples so what we'll do is we have a book here with kitab what we're going to do is we'll, for each one of these you can either try and do these before pause the video and do this yourself see if you can work it out um, and then also um, uh, uh, just to test yourself so let's go to the first one which is Anna which is I so when we say kitab the suffix we said was ya so here will be kitabi kitabi so my book Nahnu, which, which will, we, will be our book and the suffix we add is noon alif so it becomes kitabuna kitabuna uh, second person uh, which is you masculine we said the suffix is aka so it becomes kitabuka for you female it's second person it's ka a ki so it'd be kitabuki and tuma was kuma so kitabu kuma and tum was kum kitabu kum and tunna becomes kitabu kunna okay kitabu kunna so that's your second person third one so he his book we're gonna say kitabu hu here her book would be kitabu ha and there's whether this male or female or mix so ikitabu huma kitabu huma then we got hum which is kitabu hum and hunna is kitabu hunna kitabu hunna so that's kitabi kitabuna kitabuka kitabuki kitabu kuma kitabu kum kitabu kunna kitabu hu kitabu ha Kitabu huma, kitabu hum, kitabu hunna. Okay, let's look at another example. So here we've got a column. Same thing, if you want to pause the video and write them out and then see if we get the answers right. So the first one is qalami. Then we have noon alif, this qalamuna. Then we have qalamuki. They have qalamu. Kalumuka, uh, sorry, Kalumuki. Then we have Kalumukuma. Uh, then we have Kalumukum. And then Kalumukuna. Then we have third person, which is his his pen. It would be Kalumuhu. Her pen would be Kalumuha. And there's Kalumuhuma. And there, there's plural would be Kalumuhum. So this is male or mixed. And then it's just females only. It will be qalamu hunna, qalamu hunna. So qalami, qalamuna, qalamuka, qalamuki, qalamukuma, qalamukum, qalamukunna, qalamuhu, qalamuha, qalamuhuma, qalamuhum, qalamuhunna. Okay. So that was your singular male um, nouns. Okay. So when we talk about female or feminine words, we have the addition of the tamarbuta, which is added to a masculine noun to make it a feminine, if that's possible. Uh, so before we can uh, add a possessive suffix, we need to a feminine word. What we need to do is we need to change the tamarbuta to a tamarfua, which is a normal ta. Okay. So if we look at this word, walida, so here we've got the tamarbuta. So what we have to do is remove the tamarbuta first. Uh, and then add the ta, normal ta, and then the suffix, okay? So if we look at this word, walida, your mother, so the suffix we're going to add is a ka. So it will be walida, remove the tamarbuta, change it to a normal ta, and then add the kaf. So it becomes walida to ka, your mother, yeah, to a masculine male, okay? If we say um, um, their mother, so here, um, we're going to say walida um, and then we, again remove the tamar wuta, add the normal ta and then we add the suffix which is when we say there it's going to be hum walida walida to hum yeah 
walida to home so which becomes um, the so so that is their their mother okay um, if I was to say uh, my mother uh, the the rule slightly changes here uh, not for the uh, the fact that we have to remove it but uh, I'll show you so here we've got walida same thing again we're going to remove this uh, and then we add ta but this time with the kasra and the reason for that is because the word after it for the my is ya so here becomes wali walidati now why is it a kasra and the reason for that is because the ya extends the kasra so here if we said wali the to we it just wouldn't it'd be difficult to pronounce and but also um, it, it it it's wrong so here it'll be walidati walidati okay so let's look at an example so here the aila is the family so i'm gonna say here ana and uh, then we say ailati my family nahnu our family would be ailatuna okay so the only difference here really is that we change the ta marbuta to a normal ta okay uh, your second person anta ailatuka ailatuki ailatukuma ailatukum and ailatukunna third person ailatuhu ailatuha ailatuhuma and ailatuhum and ailatuhunna okay so ailati ailatuna ailatuka ailatuki ailatukuma ailatukum ailatukunna ailatuhu ailatuha Okay. Uh, one thing to note when we do possessive pronouns is the, the use of al at the beginning of definite words. So the purpose of adding al to the beginning of the noun is to make it definite. Okay. And before we can add suffix, what we need to do is remove the al, uh, as adding the suffix also makes the noun a, a definite noun. Okay, so if we say al kitab, so here at least prefixed at the beginning, so it says the book. We're talking about a specific book. So when we change it, so we, what we have to do is remove this. So we say remove the l and then add your suffix. So if we say, for instance, here uh, um, your book, so it'll be al kitabu. We will remove the l, uh, and so we're going to change the book to your book plus kaf and then becomes kitabuka which is your book all right so again because we're talking about your book we're talking to us about a specific book okay uh, same thing if we did with the feminine word that the room is al gurfa uh, and again remove the al and then change the tamar water to normal ta and then ya if we're going to say like change the room to my room it'll be gurfati gurfati so which is my room Okay, so think to remember when we do the definite uh, words with uh, starting with al. Uh, let's do uh, um, a practice um, session now. Uh, what we're wanting to do is as we go through each word, try and work out what the uh, word should be once we've attached the, uh, the possessive pronoun. Okay, uh, and again, practice uh, speaking so you get the pronunciation correct. Okay, so the first one is uh, his, uh, so the word Zamil is colleague. And what we do want to say is, is his colleague, his colleague. So it's going to be, so the suffix we're going to add is who is become zamiluhu, zamiluhu. Okay, his colleague. Next one is maktab, which is an office. Um, so we want to say our office. So we know the suffix we're going to apply is noon alif. It becomes maktabuna, maktabuna. Okay, next one is hadiqa, hadiqa, which is garden. And we want to say my garden so here the suffix we need to add is ya but the thing we need to do also is to change the ta ta marmuda to nomuta so it becomes hadiqati hadiqati okay zamiluhu maktabuna hadiqati okay another one so here sadiq is a friend so I'll say your singular masculine friend so here we're going to say we are to add a suffix of kaf at the end it becomes sadiquka sadiquka your friend next one is mahasib mahasib which is an accountant so we're going to say her accountant 
So the suffix we need to add is ha at the end. So it becomes muhasibuha. Next one is mamarrida, which is nurse. So your plural nurse would be we add, need to add a kum at the end. So it becomes mamarridukum. Mamarridukum is your nurse. Okay, so the next one is uh, Talib. So we we'll say our students. So here we need to say uh, because we need to say students, we need to first change the Talib, which is student, into plural, plural which is Tullab. Tullab. And then we add the Nuna leaf. So it becomes Tullabuna. Next one is Awlad. Awlad. So we are saying uh, their dual children. So there's two of them and two of them. So we want to say their two children. Uh, it would be Awladuhuma. Awladuhuma. Next one is Tabib. Tabib. Uh, doctor. We say her doctor would become Tabibuha. Tabibuha. Then we have, next we have is Ism which is name. So my name would be Ismi. Next one we have Athath, which is furniture. Uh, our furniture would become Athathuna. Athathuna. Then we have Zosh. Zosh. And her husband, we need to add Ha. So Zojuha. Ismi. Athathuna. Zojuha. Next one we have Sayyara. So we say his car. So again, we need to change the tamar buta to normal ta, and then add the uh, suffix. So it would be sayyaratuhu, his car, sayyaratuhu. Next one is walida, walida. So we are saying they, the three of them, mother. So here, these three girls, we need to, the word we need is walidatuhunna, walidatuhunna. Next one, we have bait. So your plural house would become Baytukum Baytukum So Sayyaratuhu Walidatuhunna Baytukum uh, Next one is Attawila which is table, the table So what we need to change it to is my table So again, one thing you note here it starts with Al So we need to remove the Al first and then add the suffix So by doing that becomes Tawilati my table, so the ya and the tamar buta we have to change as well. So tawilati. Next one is asura. So again, we've got al at the beginning and the tamar buta at the end. So we remove that and then change that. It becomes suratuhu. His photo. Suratuhu. Uh, next one is al 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 ab al al ab. So here uh, again, it starts with al. But there's also another L. Does that mean we remove both of them? Uh, and then other suffix? No, because al ab is actually part of the word. So here, it, we just remove the first instance. So it'd be al abukum your toys. Okay, so tawilati suratuhu al abukum Okay. Um, then we have, uh, so that was the singular nouns. And if we look at this dual and plural, um, it's the, exactly the same. Uh, there's a couple of changes uh, to a few instances, but I'll cover them in a minute. So here, Anna. So here we go. Aqlam. We become Aqlami. Yeah, my uh, pen. There's Nahnu Aqlamuna. So next one is Anta. Would be Aqlamuka. Aqlamuki. Then Antuma will be aqlamukuma antum aqlamukum antunna aqlamukunna and then for third person huwa is aqlamuhu aqlamuha aqlamuhuma aqlamuhum and hunna will be aqlamuhunna so aqlami aqlamuna aqlamuka aqlamuki aqlamukuma aqlamukum أقلام كنا أقلامه أقلامها أقلامهما أقلامهم and أقلامهن. Okay. Okay. So uh, one thing to note about the uh, possessive pronouns in a dual and plural situation is, is if the 
the final syllable ends with a noon, uh, then what we need to do is we need to remove the noon and then add the suffix. And the suffix we add is a, a ka. So here, if we do kitab, um, we will say, when, so if we take the singular word, here's kitab, which is one book, uh, to make it dual, we need to add alif noon. So it'll be kitab alif noon becomes kitaban, which means two books. Okay, so to before to add a suffix to two books, we'll say uh, your two books, which is kitaban, we'll say then kitaban and we we'll remove the noon and then we add the ka, ka at the end, which becomes kitabak, which is to uh, your, your, your two books. If we do the same thing with the, the accusative genitive case, so the suffix here added for in that is ya noon. So what we do, same thing here. So we say kitabain, um, and then we remove the noon, and then add the ka. So it becomes kitabek. Okay. Uh, so that's the uh, rule for the dual, and it's also actually the same for the um, plural nouns. So if we take the word muallim, muallim is a singular teacher. Uh, and then we add the wow noon to make a plural becomes muallimun. So that is plural teachers. Teachers, yeah. So when we add a suffix at the end of this will be muallimun. Uh, um, that's actually wrong. It should be muallimun. Um, and then we muallimun. And then we remove the noon. And then we add the ka. So it becomes muallimuka. Muallimuka, which is um, your uh, teachers. Okay. Then we have Mu'allimain, which is accusative and genitive, the Yanun. Same thing here. Uh, we will uh, remove the Noon and add the Ka becomes Mu'allimika. Okay. So that is a rule for possessive uh, dual and plural nouns to remember. Um, so the first one, again, same thing here. What I'd like to do is repeat the word so you can get your pronunciation correct. And then, then check to see whether you said it right uh, when I when I actually read it out. Okay, so the first one is Al Ustaz, Al Ustaz, which is the professor. Next one is Kursiyun, which is a chair. Kursiyun. Then we have Medina, Medina, which is city. So Al Ustaz, Kursiyun, Medina. Then we have Madrasa which is a school. We have Al Mudir, which is uh, your manager, Al Mudir, the manager. And then Asdiqai is uh, Sadiq, is friend, and my friends is Asdiqai, my friends. Okay, Madrasa Al Mudir, Asdiqai. Next one is Hasub, is computer, Al Hasub, which is the computer actually. Um, Walidain, which is parents. Then we have Al Ab, which is toys. So Al Hasub, Walidain, Al Ab. Then we have the Raja, which is a bicycle. Then we have Ibn, which is son. And Zoja, which is wife. So the Raja, Ibn, Zoja. Okay, next one. Uh, so some other words we're going to use. Uh, Kaifa, which is a question word, which is how. Then we have Hal, which is health or condition. Then we have Salam, which is peace. Then we have Shukran, Shukran, which is thank you. Then we have another question word, which is ma, but this is only used with nouns. Okay, if you're using verbs, it will be ma other, but we, for this exercise, we're going to do ma, which is what. Then we have a word that you a letter you've seen quite often, which is wa in between words, which is and. Then we have the sharrafna, the sharrafna, which is nice to meet you. And then finally, we have the khair, the khair which is fine. So, Kaifa, Hal, Salam, Shukran, Ma, Wa, Tasharrafna, Bikhair. Okay, so let's go through and do some tests now uh, where we use a lot of these words that we've learned 
Um, if you want to print this out and have them at hand when we do this, uh, that's fine. And then continue with the, the lesson. So, ikhtabar nafsuka, so here nafs is self. So yourself would be nafsuka uh, and test, test yourself. Okay, so the first exercise is what we'd like to do to rewrite the, these with the, using the uh, possessive pronoun. So here, kitab is book, ana is my book. So we just add the suffix. So here would be kitabi, kitabi. So bait, nahnu, would be our house. We, our house would be baytuna, baytuna. Next one. We have the Raja Anta, the Raja Tuka, your bicycle. Then we have family, Aila Anti, your female. Yeah. Aila Tuki. Yeah, your family. Then we have Sadiq, which is friends. Then Antuma. So your dual male friends is Sadi Kuma. Sadi Kakuma. Hasub. Hum, so their computer would be Hasubuhum. So Kitabi, which is my book, Beituna, our house, the Raja Tuka, your bicycle, male to male, Aila Tuki, your family to female, Sadi Kuma, which is your friends, friend, uh, to uh, dual uh, male or mixed. Uh, and then Hasubuhum, which is their computer. Okay, so the next one is Madrasa, and then Antum would be your, your school, would be mad, Madrasa to Kum. Next one is Medina, Antunna, so we're talking about your females only. City would be Medina to Kunna. Yeah. Next one is Qolum, Qolum, which is her, here is her pen would be Qalamuha Tifl il child so huwa is he his child would be Tifluhu Tifluhu and then we have Ustad which is professor so here is her her professor would be Ustaduha then we have Jamia which is university which we didn't actually cover um, Jamia is university Huma so it is uh, Huma, which is their dual uh, university. So it will be Jami'atu Huma, Jami'atu Huma. So Madrasatukum, Madinatukum, Kunna, Qalamuha, Tifluhu, Ustaduha, and Jami'atu Huma. Okay, one last one. So here we got Sayyara, which is a car. Nahnu, which is um, we, so our car would be Sayyaratuna. Next one is Hadiqa, which is uh, a garden, and then we say Hum, so it's their uh, garden would be Hadiqatuhum. Then Ukht, which is sister, and Hunna, so Hunna is females only, so it would be Ukhtuhunna. Then we have Al Mudir, which is the manager. So we send here her manager would be again one thing when you do is remove the Al and then Mudiruha. Mudiruha. Then we have Al Sarir, which is the bed, the bed. And Nahnu, which is uh, we, so in our bed would be Sariruna. So Walidain, Anta. So here. Um, well, then it's a plural, so what, remember what we said, we need to remove the noon and then add the ka at the end. So here will be walidayka, Okay, so sayyaratuna hadiqatuhum ukhtuhunna mudiruha sariruna walidayk. Okay, so exercise two is slightly more difficult. What I'm going to do is we need to uh, rephrase each each replacing the word with the correct possessive pronoun. So here we're saying is Maktib al-Mudir is the office of the manager. So which becomes his office. Okay. okay. So 
is maktabuhu maktabuhu yeah next one is the uh, bait astiqai bait astiqai so it is my friends my friend's house so um, astiqai is plural so we're going to say it is uh, their house okay uh, so it would become bay to whom bay to whom next one is sayyara tabiba so here which is the doctor's female doctor's car so we'll say it is her car so it would become sayyara to her sayyara to her okay maktabuhu bay to whom sayyara to her next one is qalam abir which is a bead's pen. So here we're going to say it is her pen. Would become qalamuha. Qalamuha. Next one is uh, walida amir walamya. Okay, so we send amir and which is wa lamya's mother. So now there's two of them. So what we need to do is change that. So dual, their two's mother uh, would be. Walida to Huma, Walida to Huma, okay, because we're talking about the two. Okay, next one is Ihtaram uh, al Walidain, Ihtaram al Walidain. So here um, we're talking about respect for their parents. So the thing when we talk about Ihtaram, we're saying Ihtaram for them too, but for their mother. So there are three females. So the answer is Ihtaram Hunna. Their female mom's uh, respect, respect for their mom. Okay, so Okay, so what we're going to do now is go through. Uh, I've got a, a, a script here that uh, we, we, the two people are talking, and what we're going to do is go through and see um, what uh, possessive pronouns are used in these, and then we'll do a breakdown of this as well. Okay. So the first one is Abdul is saying Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. So if we look at this one, we have uh, Assalam is the peace, Ala is uh, on, Alay, and then Kum. So here we're saying uh, on to you. So here we're saying Salam, peace be on, upon you, plural. Okay? Uh, we can say Assalamu Alaikum as well um, if we're talking in ritual, which we are really. Um, Next one, then Imtiaz says, uh, Wa alaikum assalam. So here again, so and unto you be peace, yeah, peace, yeah, uh, the peace. So, uh, assalamu alaikum, the response always is, Wa alaikum assalam, wa alaikum assalam. Next one is Abdul is saying, Kayf hal uqa, Kayf is how, hal we said was uh, health, and then ka is your health, how, how are you, or how is your health. And then we'll say, MTR says, which is fine. Shukran, thank you. Shukran is thank you. And wa'anta, and you. So he could say, bikhair, shukran, wa'anta, kayf, kayf haluk. Ka. Yeah, wa haluk kayf is the female. Yeah. So here, but you can just say, sure, because we are referring back to the health. So we say, wa'anta. See? So, Abdul will then say, ana bikhair, alhamdulillah. Praise be to God, I am fine. I am fine. Ana bakhair. So here we can see that they've used a personal pronoun. Ana bakhair. Alhamdulillah. Next one, the MTI says, Ma ismu ka. So we did this with ma. What ism is name and ka. What is your name? Ma ismu ka. What is your name? Or ismu ki. If you're talking to a female or if you're talking to a group, we say ma ismu kum. Yeah, so here you can see now it's starting to make sense. Okay, Abdul says, "Is me, my name. Is me's name. My name is Abdul Khan. Abdul Khan. Wa anta and yours. Yeah, and then Imtiaz says, "Is me Imtiaz. Yeah, my name is Imtiaz. Okay, again, is 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 implied because um, there is no is or are in the Arabic language. So here, this is, you can see, what we'll do is we'll do start to do more of these as we go through a lot of the lessons. Uh, we can see that um, how, you know, um, the personal and possessive pronouns get used within the conversation. One last one. So here we've got 
uh, we're going to use some adjectives in, in, in the word. So here we are in my office with our new manager. So the new word is manager. Um, so we, well, let's break this down. So we are in my office. So nahnu, we, nahnu, are in my office. Uh, uh, so f, uh, in me is fi, nahnu fi, my office. We say our office was maktab. So my office is maktabi. Nahnu fi maktabi. With uh, is ma'a mudiruna al jadid. So our uh, mudiruna. So our manager, our new manager. So the one thing we need to say about adjectives is the adjectives come after the noun. Okay. And this is what we'll cover in our next next lesson. Nahnu fi maktabi ma'a mudiruna al jadid. Okay. So. Uh, that's the end of the lesson and in the, like I said in the next lesson we'll look at adjectives and start to put some of these uh, puzzles together. So again if you've liked the lesson please like, share and subscribe to our channel uh, and if you know other people who might benefit from, from this then please share it with them. So thank you again inshallah I'll see you in the next lesson. Fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum.